Hi, so let's solve today's problem. Smallest positive missing number. And in this problem, we have been given an array of size n, which includes a zero, which may include a zero. And our task is to find out smallest positive number in this array. So for example, if we have been given the array size as five and the elements are one, two, three, four, and five. So the smallest element we can get is the six, right? Before that, there is no missing element. So let us take the another test case in which we have been given the array with negative integers. So zero minus 10, one, three, minus 20. So what we can do is here, if you look closely, you get to see the two is missing between one and three, and it is the smallest positive missing number, right? So the output is two. So let us talk about the intuition of this problem. One thing we can do is to sort the array and what we can do is iterate from the very first positive element, which is nothing but one, and keep on checking if we have, if we can get any other, um, any other positive number next. So, but the only problem is that the constraint in which we have been given to solve this problem and big O one, big O n time complexity and sorting itself takes n log n. So the, let us talk about the another approach which I have in my mind, which is, let me first write the test case. So what we can do is place the, so for example here, n is five, right? So we can place the integers to its correct place. So what does I, what did I mean by that is this zero cannot be placed in this array, right? Because array indices are like zero, one, two, three, and four. So we don't, we take the range from one to n, which is nothing but five, all right? So what I can do is I can first check uh, if my z suppose zero should should have the so this since this is a zero based indexing our range should have one two three four and five right so what we can do is first check if our zero is our correct position. Since this zero is not a part of this indices, one, two, three, four, five, this range. So we exclude it. So we move on to this minus 10. Similarly, this minus 10 is not in the range of one to five. So then again, we will exclude it. Now this one, so we will check that this one is in the range one to five, right? So we try to place it in its correct position. Why we are doing this, I'll let you know soon. So we'll place it in its correct position. So the correct position will be one minus 10, zero, three, and 20, right? And we were here, somewhere here. Now what we have to do is move on to the next element, which is nothing but three, and check if this three, is placed at a correct position. So let me write the correct positions first. One, two, three, four, and five. So we get to see that this three is not placed at its correct position. So we will swap it. So this three will be swapped with its zero. So here will be three and here will be zero. Now what we'll do is we'll move on to this 20 and we check that this 20 is not in range between one to five. So what we conclude is, if we now iterate in this array and we see that one is placed at its correct position, this second position is left unfilled. So this clearly says that the smallest positive number is nothing but two because we have its place empty and we don't have any element in the array which, uh, in, in which we place it here. So 
I hope you get the intuition of this problem. We are simply placing the elements to to its correct position and then iterating through a for loop and checking if if any element is not uh, if any element is not placed its correct position, we simply return that element. All right, or we simply return that index. Or else, if all the places are filled correctly, so as you can see, the very first test case, one, two, three, four, five, we simply return n plus one because the only case we have here is the n plus one, the only possible solution, the only possible number, smallest missing number, which is positive, is n plus one, which is nothing but six. So Let's code this solution, which I have just told you. Now let's check if our number is greater than zero. So in the range is one to n, right? So And if it is not placed at its correct position, so this line, so this line array element at this gives me the very correct position of the particular element. So let me dry run this. So for example, if I had ARR of I as, suppose let us take this, this case, the one, right? So according to the formula, ARR of ARR array element at I minus one. So what will this give me? What it will give me is array element at array element at i. It is nothing but one, all right? So one minus one is zero. So array element at zero, which is nothing but zero is not equal to one, which means that R1 is not placed at its correct position. So that's how you check the correct position. This is the formula. And if this is not, so we simply swap. As I said, I will iterate over the all the list over the list and check if all the numbers are placed correctly. So let us check if we made any other. All right, thank you.